Good morning everyone. So as you probably know, Adobe have just released a new Pro Raw profile for both Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. So today I thought I would have a nice chilled out, nice relaxed edit along and edit one of my Pro Raw photos here on my Mac in Lightroom CC because when I said that I didn't think that there was any point in me making any Lightroom content because there's already so much Lightroom content on YouTube, a lot of you went, no Dave, we want you to make Lightroom content please. So I was like, okay, so <laughs> this will probably be the first video of many. And as you can see, I'm, I'm sat outside, so you might hear noises, you might, I don't know, a cat might appear in the background just to, you know, it's not going to be as, yeah, someone clapping there, for example. So, you know, just try and ignore that sort of stuff and uh, focus on me, focus on the edits. <laughs> Now, the edits that I'm gonna make are actually my Kenta Casino preset, which is part of my preset pack. And a big thank you to everyone who has bought the preset pack, by the way, I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, I actually created and refined these edits over a three year period. Uh, so they're really robust. For example, they were created using Nikon D610 RAW files back in Romania, but they also look great on these Pro Raw photos using this new Pro Raw profile here as well. So let me just get on with it. And of course, feel free to follow along and save the preset as your own at the end. Right, so this is the photo that I'm going to be editing. It was taken in Salford Keys and I'm not going to be editing from memory. It's, it's too much, um, it's impossible. Uh, like I said, this preset was created over a period of like three years, it was refined and stuff like that. So there's no chance of me recreating it from memory. So I've written my edits down, I've taken screenshots and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be following along. Uh, so let's just get, get cracking. You can see I'm using the new Apple Pro Raw profile. Um, profiles are really um, some of the, not plus three, <laughs> immediately make a mistake. <laughs> Profiles are a really great thing in Adobe Lightroom. You can often just like apply a profile and your, your, your picture just immediately looks better. Um, so yeah, I am just literally reading off the screen. I don't have any insight so much as to what these edits are doing. It is, it's not sort of a how to, usually when I do these sort of videos, I like to, tell you sort of not how to think just sort of what I'm thinking when I'm making the edits why I'm making certain edits but uh, this isn't one of those videos this is literally just uh, um, I want the video to be easy for me <laughs> and, uh, I also want to give um, give you value so um, don't worry there's loads there's gonna be loads of editing videos coming um, yes yeah, so I don't worry about that so tone curve this is one of the parts that I'm not looking at my iPhone for I think I know this bit from memory I think there's a train going past you can see I am going to check my iPhone just in case <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I'm using the Mac actually because you can you can be really precise with your edits especially in the tone curve um, I tried to record this video using my phone. It's a bit more like authentic, if you like, for me to take the picture on the phone and then edit it on the phone. Um, but it was just not possible for me to do that because you'll you'll see in a second anyway after I fill in this uh, this color panel. So minus three on the saturation. Don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> so insightful uh, so let's go on the point curve and you can see these these two numbers here in the in the bottom right and it's those that I'm really paying attention to here it's those that you don't get or at least I couldn't find them anyway on what's it called um, the the phone or the iPad version plus the screen recording on the phone and the iPad in particular is really unreliable I would record um, there was a video I made last year um, Affinity Photo on iPad and I recorded that video so many times so many times because I would record and I'd check the recording and it, it just stopped you know uh, so 
I had to uh, record the iPad screen through the Mac in the end, and it was just a nightmare. So, yeah, um, it doesn't really matter. All the edits that I'm making now can be made on the phone. Um, you can follow along to the best of your ability if you are using a phone. Um, the best way is to to buy the preset, obviously. Um, when I used to watch videos myself, you know, different photographers sharing their own presets in an edit along like this. And when I would recreate their edits, especially when it came to the tone curve, um, I'm struggling with this point. I'm trying to get it 62, 59.2. Um, yeah, the tone curve would always, even though I would get it subtly wrong, so I would end up just buying the preset anyway, just to see. And yeah, the subtle differences in the tone curve would make all the difference. So this one here, um, this is the highlights. Oh, nailed that one straight away. And then the last point, um, we want 184.7. So there we go. Now let's just turn the tone curve off and on to see what that's done. It's made it look worse, um, as is usually the case. That's fine. We're, we're going to make it look better, obviously, over the course of the image. So there's lots of points in the red curve. I made this difficult for myself because there's lots of different points that I'm going to be um, entering here. Uh, 17. I want 5.9, 5.5. I do want to make it exact, so... If it is taking me a long time to make a point exact, I will just fast forward it. <laughs> for you anyway, uh, not for me. I can't fast forward real life as much as I would uh, like to sometimes. Okay, I want 20. Um, yeah, and while I'm not going to be like describing edits and stuff, I can talk about other stuff if I want to. It's my channel. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to listen. You can mute me. Speaking of muting me, um, I mentioned that I did get suggestions. Um, I did get people asking for Lightroom content. And one of them, what's the channel name? Is it I Complainer? I think. I hope I'm right. I Complainer. He said, you should do... I think he's, he's been following me and commenting on a few of my videos for right from the very beginning, back in April. So thank you for that. Seriously. The bird thanks you as well. Um, and um, that you're, you're going to be a pate. Um, <laughs> um, what was I saying? And, you know, this is, in reality, it takes me so long to record videos because my mind is just wandering all the time, just like then. Uh, I complain. Yeah, follow me for a while. Thank you. And he suggested, he or she suggested, um, to do an ASMR video where I just sit editing silently and I thought, fantastic. I don't have to talk, you know, I can just sit here and edit and I can just record my screen. I don't have to worry about anything, you know, like microphones um, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I'm like, ASMR. I use ASMR to get to sleep sometimes because I have trouble sleeping. And... I'm like, isn't that where typically a young woman would be like making all these noises? Like, um, you know, stuff like that <laughs> the, into the microphone. Um, do you want me to, I, I, I like the idea, but I wasn't sure how to execute it. So I'm like, do I put the microphone here on the trackpad so you can hear the, the clicks of the trackpad? Um, how do I do it? Because I would like to do it. So if you are watching, um, please, please let me know and I will do it. As I saw um, Peter McKinnon made a video, I think it was a couple of years ago now, just silently editing on an iPad. And I'm like, well, that's a dumb idea. Why would, who, why would anyone want to watch that? And it's one of his like, most viewed videos. I'm like, okay, <laughs> fair enough. So someone's driving very fast nearby um so yeah let me know how i should execute that i will i will sit here silently editing as many times as you want um but the asmr factor i'm not so sure 
about that. So the image is coming together now with the tone curve. When you start getting into um, the colors in the tone curve, the different color channels, um, you often, I was going to say you can't manipulate one without manipulating the other, but that's not true. Sometimes you can just pull up the reds and the shadows and it looks great um, or something like that. But oftentimes you do need to, if you make an edit to one, you have to make edits to the other. Otherwise your image will just look overly red or overly green, you know, stuff like that. Um, okay. I'm nearly done with the tone curve. And then a lot of these, uh, a lot of the edits for Canta Casino. Canta Casino, by the way, is named after Canta Casino, uh, Castello Canta Casino, which is, um, they call it a castle. It's not a castle. It's it's more like a manor house in Romania. It was like two kilometers away from where I lived in Romania, in Bushden. Um, very nice place. I, I only went a couple times and take some photos. Maybe editor Dave will put some photos on the screen for you as we finish the tone curve and move on. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. So that's what we've done so far. If we zoom into... Oh, hello. <laughs> if we zoom into this uh, this young lady here doing the um, row, row, row your belt. We can see what we've done so far. Uh, still doesn't look too good, but we're gonna move into the color channels now. Um, what was I saying? Jeez, jeez Louise, Davide. Um, Kenta Casino, yeah, Editor Dave, put some photos of Kenta Casino that you've taken on the screen, please. Editor Dave um, hates me, hates recording Dave, because like I said, I, it takes me a long time to record a video. Um, my most recent video, you, no, us key vision, uh, 1.55 anamorphic lens review. I'm really proud of that video, really happy with it. I think it's one of the best I've done in terms of structuring the video in terms of how the music reacts to what's going on on screen and stuff like that like it's not just one continuous track playing it's yeah anyway i like it a lot and it took me hours to film just because i don't know i just get distracted and i can't focus on what i'm saying and i'm so keen to get every piece of information in um, and I'm so anxious of forgetting a key piece of information. It's like a house of cards, you know, you remove one little card and the whole thing falls down. And that could happen with one of my videos, the way I do my videos. They're so information dense all the time. Um, and I think that's colors finished. Yeah, I can't really see out here. There's, the, there's light on the screen, so... Um, We'll be able to see the screen recording. Won't you edit it, Dave? Uh, <laughs> and what was I saying? Jeez. So dehaze. I've got color grading to do as well. Don't let me forget color grading. Dehaze plus six. Yeah, so it's great for me to just be able to sit here and just follow my, follow my edits. It's really like a change for me. And I just want to talk about, um, because I do, my my schedule, my YouTube schedule is not, doesn't seem like it's particularly prolific, if you like. I upload once a week, uh, or I, I try to, or sometimes multiple times a week. Uh, some months I upload like seven videos, other months I upload four, maybe three. And so it might not seem like I'm that prolific, but the videos being as information dense as they are and how just sort of my mind works with everything. It's a very, not stressful, but there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes. And I, I will wake up, like I don't sleep very well because I will just wake up in the middle of the night to write an idea down, anxious that I'll forget the idea if I don't write it down. Um, so I, I can never really switch off in that respect. Um, and I've been going now, I've been doing YouTube. I decided I wanted to do it back in April, back when we, um, and I said I would try not to mention anything topical or anything, but um, since we are uh, locked down, since we all got locked up, don't let, um, <laughs> since we all, uh, 
anyway, uh, yeah, since that, I was like, yeah, I just, um, I want to do something else. I want to do this now. Uh, this seems to be lockdown proof, you know, whatever can happen. I'll, I'll have my YouTube channel. So I've come to the end of the edit, but it's different. It looks different to my Kenta Casino preset. And I've been through all the edits that I've made and I can't find any sort of difference to from the preset. But if you see, if I hover over the preset, it's different. It's so strange. I don't know what has happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take screenshots of all these sort of sections of the edit and post them on my website. So, you know, I, the key thing is, like I said, all these numbers here. Something went wrong. I don't know. I really, I went through. Maybe you can help me with this. I, I applied my Kinsa Casino preset. But when I recreated the preset to the exact specifications, it looked different. So, you know, maybe I'm not the guy to give you Lightroom tutorials after all. Cause, <laughs> or maybe I've just missed something. I don't know, but I really couldn't find anything different. But anyway, you will get the value from this video. You will get um, all the edits. I'm going to take, like I said, take the screenshots, put them on my website, sequelmail.com. The link will be in the description. It's not an ideal end to the video. It's not an ideal uh, video for you, but there you go. You're getting a free preset. So what do you have to complain about? Um, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know what Lightroom content you would like and I will start formulating my Lightroom schedule. I've got loads of stuff um, scheduled that I want to make videos about. I still haven't made like a proper Lightroom, not Lightroom, iPhone 12 Pro review from like a photographer's point of view. I've been using the 12 Pro now since November. It's now March. So I think it's a good time to make a proper review of that device. So that's the one I want to make. I want to talk about um, Camera Plus 2. That's an app people have been asking for reviews on for ages. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff that I want to do. Um, I do read all the comments, so feel free to leave suggestions for me. And you can find me on Twitter, by the way. I came back to, to Twitter. I took a deep breath. And I stepped away. I deleted my account completely, as I often do. And then uh, I came back to the Twitter. So you can follow me there at Pisico Mao. I post things there that you might find interesting. So there you go. Right, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay curious. Azibuna, she pakarun, she she teubesk, she she sunt balbart fumos. I'm just joking. That, that last one was for my wife. <laughs>